We're gonna okay. We're not recording. This is Grim, and this is. We're just gonna call you D, okay? Oh, I, I'm not afraid to use my name. All right. Well, this is David Parkson, right? Parker. Parker. Like Park Parker. Okay. He has sent me a recording that he done in 2015. Is that correct? No, it's September 27th, 2014, and it was in the night, like after 10 o'clock, I'm sure. Okay. Now this is, what you're going to hear is, you're going to hear him... What is it? Whistle, I do believe? I do a 4 2 whistle. Okay. We're going to play that. Uh, and it's the females that respond. We're going to play that now. You can't change. About, I'm wanting to say about around 125, 132. About that. Yeah. Now, is there, now, the other thing that happened I found was very interesting, but that when, then you continued what? A little bit, you waited for a little bit, and then you heard, what was it, more of them? Next one is one you marked for me. Oh, at eight minutes? Yes, so I'm going to go directly to that one. Because that one, if I can find it. Yeah, it's loops. Oh, uh, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I've... All right. Here we go. Hmm. 
Okay. No. I would like, like to know, what did you think when you h first heard those whoops? I was kind of like, what the heck? Because I, this is the only time that I've heard them. I haven't heard them before, and I haven't heard it like that since. Very seldom do you get whoops like that. And at a later, at a later time, I kind of looked up on the internet, and the closest thing I could find to it was Howler Monkeys. They do something similar. Now, being that it was the end of September, it may have been some kind of a mating call, too. I'm, you know, I'm not sure. Because the bottom line is, no matter how much you know or think you know, it's just scratching the surface. No. And It does to me as well. I mean, and you let me tell everybody where you're at, what state you're at. Well, confusion most of the time, but I live in Missouri. <laughs> there are no primates that we know of that live in Missouri that could do those sounds at all. Nothing that I know of. And I and I don't live. All right, the next one is one that I found myself. Well, no, wait, hold on. Yeah, the one I found myself, it started at the 11-minute mark. I believe that's when more howling start, more of the whoop, the owl sound started. The females. Well, off that logging trail it's about even with oh, the barn is a really interesting part. Now you said they started getting the coyotes up, right? Started getting them a uh... Yeah, now the adult males each of and, and at that time there were six of them around here. And they would each have like a handful of coyotes with them. No, do they normally travel with coyotes that you know of? Yeah, most definitely, because everybody knows coyotes are 
they're by themselves they're oh. nothing but more than one Yeah. And see, then they also get the coyotes going, the males do, when they talk, to uh, drown out their conversation. And sometimes, when the coyotes will quit too early, and they haven't finished saying what they're saying, you can pick up bits and pieces that's their language, and sometimes parts of it the males will it, it kind of reminds you of like a really huge barking dog like 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 a supersized St. Bernard or something that oh oh kind of hear that in there and then you hear some of the samurai talk and you know some animal sounds mixed in with it and it's just crazy well listen listen to that part now I hope I get it so on the right one. Then the do your neighbor's dogs start barking, like you said. Oh yeah, and we'll torment the, the neighbor's lab really bad because he barks. He stays at the house. He don't go out into the woods, but he, he hears something and he barks and barks and barks. And he'll get into stop barking self horse. And while he's barking, they they're free to move without being detected because they've got that to drown out the sound of footsteps. And they and they really taught that poor dog in the fall when the when the fresh leaves fall down, everything's real crunchy. They do it so they can't so they don't have to use the coyotes, they'll just use him to drown out the noise, like you said, right? Yeah, and then Park 
kitchen, and then when he quits, they do it again. Now, they've got two dogs next door, but the other one, she's an old beagle, and she don't bark as much. This, this has been amazing. So you will be back, though. You have some stories that you want to tell, though, too, as well, right? So true. Now, we talked for, what was it, last night? No, not last night, the night before. Friday night. For what, over an hour, I do believe? Yeah. And you had, you tried to start recording because you heard yeah, I, some that I night. That's a, that's a um, very high end one. You want good, you know, here's the thing. If you want a good quality recording, you gotta lay out the money for it. It's true. I mean, you can get other recordings, but they don't pick up near as much. And then there'll be t things that you record, and you hear it one way, but you record it and it sounds different than what you've heard. And that can really mess with your head too it's like well why was it like this when I heard it why didn't the recorder pick it up because uh, I'll give you a perfect example one time one of the females screamed like a woman three times and I, I I've got it recorded somewhere and when I spoke it back it didn't sound like a woman screaming it sounded more like whoops hmm I have no explanation for that, but when I heard it, 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 it sounded like a woman, you know, all with a lot of emotions, you know, scream just three times, like, just because she's mad or something. She could, I mean, sorry. A lot of, I don't want to be around a human female that's that emotional, and I'm not going to walk up to one of these that's that emotional and say, what's the matter, baby? I understand that. Do you think they get mad at their children? I know they do. Could that be one of the reasons she was screaming like that? Just out of curiosity. Well, I, I suspect that possibly maybe she had a child die. Because if you think about it, there should be a lot more of them around than what there are. So I believe they've probably got a high infant mortality rate. Because now think back in the Middle Ages when we didn't have all the medicines and stuff and medical knowledge that we 
we have now. Yeah, there was a high one. A lot, a lot of kids didn't live past five. No, they didn't. I, I'm a historic buff, so I did a lot of do a lot of research on the medieval ages and such. That is true. That could, to me, when I looked at it, I didn't look as closely as like everybody else does. But I'm like, there's no way that's a man in the costume. Is what I said. No way that's a person in the costume. Kind of like a neon green. Oh yeah, now I hit one with a spotlight one time, and the eye shine. Oh, it made him look like a demon. I, I mean, I I literally gasped because the eye shine was so intense it came out of his eyes like daggers, and it was so bright it obscured his facial features, and that's why I gasped. <laughs> Cause, I mean, he looked like a demon, you know, it, it reminded, the eye shine came out of the eyes, like in the vampire movies when they kill a vampire and the fire comes out the eyes. It was like that, only a really intense green. Mm. And that, uh, that's crazy. Yeah, that is. I... I've only heard, you know, brown ones, and you know, the ones that you see on TV and stuff like that. I've never heard about the eye shine. That's a new one on me. I'm pretty sure a new one on some of these people that are wa that are going to be watching this. But, yeah, it's nice talking with you, Dave. Alrighty. Um, I'm going to uh, let you get back to what you're doing. I'm going to put okay. this on the air. And uh, you can watch it 
It's Grim Soul Taker. Just one word. Or just type in the Grim Report. You bring it up that way. I'm yeah, gonna uh let you radio. Huh? Where are you posting this? Is it YouTube. On, blogs? on YouTube. On YouTube, okay. Yeah, YouTube. But um thank you and I hope to hear from you again. Oh no, no problem. I mean there's there's a whole bunch of stuff I could tell you as I've been interacting with them for seven years. <laughs>